Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is your The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Season 9, Episode 11. Let's jump on into this shit, shall we? So, we start off with Kenyon and Phaedra and Flint for the little children. They did the whole old school thing with their hair wrapped up. It, it was nice for the most part. Kenya tried to show her ass to, at the beginning of it. With the whole, I don't want to sleep on the lumpy bed thing. And she also tried it when, can I go to the whole crowd me a nice hotel if I can sleep in? Can you this for the kids? Get the fuck over it. Then we got Portia and Todd with they is so we first see them with. She said he ain't taking shit serious. And basically, she want a baby, she want a family and all this. At first, she scared the shit out of me with what she was talking about. Then I realized that she was actually making sense. So I said, okay, cool. I understand where you coming from. I got you. I feel you. I got you. I feel you. I feel you everything you saying, Kenya. I'm with you. I mean, Portia, I'm with you. I'm with you on that shit. Then we meet them later. Basically, um, Portia ain't got enough blood going to her fucking head, and she passing out here, there, and everywhere. Then, um, Portia was talking to Phaedra, Shamil trying to hang up the phone because she don't want to hear King, um, Phaedra voice. Shamil, you a messy as fuck for that. You won't pay that girl phone bill. So, who she talked to on the phone? And if you don't like what she talked to, fuck your ass downstairs and sit down there and wait patiently and read a damn magazine or something. Do something up beside acting like a fucking child. Trying to hang up that woman's phone on Phaedra. That was uncaused one. That was very fucked up of you, Shamil. Then we get the Bob and Sheree love. Whatever the fuck that was, he taking her to dinner to a cabaret. He got his fat ass up there, calling himself dancing, sweating like he in the pee field somewhere, like a slave, but just sweating, sweat from here on the way to here to. Yeah. Um. Sheree trying to find a nice thing to say about Bob, but she she can't she ain't got an in her or can't say it for him or can't think a word to say about him. But she said the easiest word out the damn convenience of her books that he's charming. That was all right. Then we got Cynthia moving in with Candy. We got her getting all her comforts, her pictures, her wig, her picture, her wigs, her snacks. Which is understandable. I understand all that. I guess um, Port Cynthia said, look, bitch, you ain't going to talk about me. Yeah, I'm staying in your house for maybe a night or so. I don't know how long I'm going to stay. But I want to make sure I'm comfortable in your house. But I hate bringing my own snacks, my wigs, my picture, all that. I thought she was going to at least hit Ken the house with how she was backing up in the all sideways and shit. But she made it. The next day, the realtor the called her, told her she can move in now, so she only had to stay one day. Then the hoes get back, Kenya and Phaedra. Um, what else we get? What else happened? Oh, okay, well, that basically all I want to talk about for the press again. Then. Okay, then after that, all the girls get together. Can, I mean, Phaedra then had her little camping that experience. She enjoyed it. She had fun and all that. Understandable. All the girl was, mm, yeah, uh, mm -mm. I don't know about the kept with that. Then somehow Phaedra convinced them and they all agreed. Then here the way the shit took her for me. Um... Kenya, why you worrying about this Porsche gonna knock the fuck out of you or not? What the fuck you need to be worrying about is Matt gonna knock the fuck out of you for playing with that man emotion, his heart, and also playing with that man like that, like you, like he a fucking twelve from Walmart or a Ken doll from Walmart or whatnot. That what you need to be worried about. Porsche is the least of your worries. 
And Phaedra, I don't know why you told Ken, I don't know why you told Porsche, Kenya, that Porsche wanted to talk to her about her anger management. Cause we knew the bitch had an issue with her and said she wasn't going to anger manager, even if she is or not. Kenya, you did come at Portia wrong at that fucking table. Time out. Well, I don't know. How did I know she ain't gonna attack me? Then they played clips of some of Portia on flattery moments where she attacked that girl at the little part at the little Christmas party. Where she was fucking with Ken, where she pulled Kenya by the hair, where her and Cynthia got into it that damn on that ball. They brought up all her on flatteries. Can y'all, of course, go to her even more with is your angle mitch man it working? How do I know if I go on this cabin trip, I ain't gonna um how I know I ain't gonna get attacked by a Porsche. You and Porsche been good this whole season. You and Porsche ain't had no issues. Now how come when this cabin trip bring up your pathetic ass wanna bring up this girl old and try to use that as new dirt on this girl? See, Kenya, that's how I don't nobody don't fuck around with you. For you to bring these old issues up into the new shit, as Portia wanted to attack your pathetic ass, she would have did that motherfucker shit in Atlanta. Why would she went on a camping trip to wet the grab you by your weave? You lost him with that shit, Kenya. And then Candy and her confessionals, Team Candy. I mean, Team Ken, uh, Ken, um, Kenya, bringing up her issues, and yeah, I don't feel safe, and, but wait a minute, though, Candy, you want to beat the hell out of Ken, I mean, out of Phaedra, and bring up Candy old shit and the new shit, too. I know your big ass ain't scared of Ken, a little old Portia. You a piggyback, and Portia was basically right, saying that you piggyback up of what Port, what Candy, or Kenya saying by bringing up this shit, and you got piggyback your ass. He gonna look angry, mad at this, mad at the whole season, mad at any bitch that comes for her. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. Cause I ain't say nothing. I did appreciate your ass for telling Kenya, Kenya to shut the fuck up. Cause she didn't need to bring up that girl progress or uh, how far she didn't got an anger management. Bitch, if she didn't attack you now, what makes that she gonna attack you in the, um, in the damn camping place? Can't, um... Portia did the right fucking thing by walking away from your ass. Why you followed her, I don't understand to this damn day. Why, why this damn moment, why you fucking you followed her. You seen y'all had issues in the past. But um, Portia been cool with you, Kenya. Until you tried to bring up her anger management and try to use that like you scared of Kenya. Like you scared of Portia. You ought to be scared of Matt ass and be worried about that Matt gonna jump on your ass. Then her and, um... Then Hall and Sheree got into it, <sighs> and Sheree told her, you worried about um Phaedra, you worried about Portia, but why you ain't worried about Matt, and Matt attacking your ass, that's the one you should be worrying about, he breaking your damn windows, breaking your damn garage dolls and shit, but you still worrying about little old Portia dragging you by your hair. She brought up the point, then here they do, they got into it. Kenya tried to say that um, Sheree was in an abusive relationship and that she been abused, battered, or whatever. Sheree turned that around on her said, you the one going through it, bitch. I ain't going through it. Like I said, basically Kenya wanting to use that old shit and bring it to the new shit about this shit. And all of a sudden, she's so scared of damn Portia and scared Portia gonna attack her when you got an angry motherfucker on your back neck by the name of Matt Jordan that you should be worrying about, not fucking Portia. But since you wanna bring a Portia anger management up and be petty and dumb about this shit, talking about some high five you ain't got in the anger management and is it working? What well, bitch has she attached you yet? Okay then, well clearly. Clearly it's working for her, and clearly there won't be no issues in Atlanta, there won't be no issues at that camping trip. Why you want to bring up that girl on uh, progress and all her, and bring up this old shit, trying to attack that girl and also trying to make that girl do something that she said she ain't going to do. Kenya, you look the dumb, you look the stupid, and the way I'm looking at it, and the way I'm looking at this season, 
Porsche is the least of your damn worries. Who the fuck you need to be worried about that psychopath hurricane named Matt? You better worry about that. He gonna jump on your ass. Yeah, ain't no man about to beat your ass now. But look like Matt in two damn point two point two seconds ready to jump on your ass quicker than the fucking her while you worrying about Porsche. That's the fucker you need to be worrying about. Why you worrying about that Porsche going to attack your ass at this camping trip, you little dumb helper. Anyway, though, y'all, I ain't got out what I want to say. That was the episode. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later. Let me know what y'all think about tonight's episode. And see y'all later. And bye.